Hi everybody, hope this finds you very well and thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I recently done a video, uh, not so long ago, where I spoke openly about my challenges with mental health and depression, um, as well as speaking, uh, doing an article with the, the local newspaper and the Scotsman. Um, and it was, it was overwhelming. Um, I didn't expect the response that, that I got. Um, I got a lot of love from a lot of people. Um, but I want to talk about the journey since then. Um, it's all well and good speaking out about something like that, but I, I think it's important to keep speaking about the challenges that um, I might be facing in my life because I know there's other people who will be facing challenges in different ways, but you know we'll be we'll be struggling in life, and I want to try um, to touch base with those people, to connect with those people, and try and help each other along the along the way. Now my reasons obviously were were you know, related to a marriage breakdown, not seeing my son, which is still the case um, and still ongoing. Um, and it really, really started to affect me and deteriorate my, my mental health. Thankfully, got remarried, um, have a lovely daughter, um, a lot to be thankful, thankful to God for, I'm very appreciative. But just because you speak out, um, doesn't just make the, the problem go away. Um, it's, an on, it's an ongoing, ongoing challenge and I'm sure many people can relate to what I'm saying there. You could have a fantastic weekend with friends, family, feel really good about yourself and it could come to Wednesday and it might be difficult to get out of bed. You might be facing, feeling down about things, something's not quite went your way or, you know, you've had some sad news or it might just be that you can't, motiv I think the biggest challenge I have sometimes is motivating myself. When I'm on something, I can be really, really motivated. A couple of days, um, a downward spiral and I can, I find it hard to, to get motivated again. So with the podcast, what it did for me was it allowed me to regularly speak to people again, be communicating with people, hearing about their challenges, hearing about the resilience that they've shown in their life. And I was constantly getting inspired by these people um, and really feeling positive about things myself. I'm going to be honest though and say this, um, jealousy and hatred exists everywhere. Everywhere in the world, it goes on. Um, I, I can't talk about one thing in life that I've done that hasn't had lots of positive, but maybe some, some hatred or negativity, whether it be in the workspace, whether it be in sports, whether it be in personal life, doesn't matter. Um, now, nobody has been nasty to me or sworn at me or said anything. You know, I heard a little bit of stuff through the grapevine that, you know, maybe people were thinking I was doing it for um, a sympathy vote. I, I certainly wish I was. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people that are struggling from mental health challenges are afraid of. If I go and speak out about this, people are going to think I'm, I'm just feeling sorry for myself. People are going to think I'm weak. People are going to walk all over me. Um, and that's that's what's got to change. And, and I believe it is changing. You know, I, I certainly spoke because I felt a little bit more comfortable about doing so. The likes of Tyson Fury um, speaking out about their mental health. So I, I thought it was a, I thought it was a comfortable enough thing to do, but I still think there'll be a lot of people that are suffering in silence. When I talked about the hatred and the, and the jealousy and stuff there, even your nearest and dearest friends, family, you know, people will have question marks of things that you're doing. They'll, they'll, they'll comment on something. Oh, why did you do that? People are going to know too much about your business. Or why did you do that? You know, you know you're, you, you're posting too much stuff. You're, um, oh, I like that interview, but I didn't like that interview. All of these things coming, and this is not pointing the finger at anybody. I'm just talking in, in generalization here. All of these things coming into your head, they can start to make you think, oh, should I be doing this? You know, have I put myself in a vulnerable situation? And I'll be honest, after about a month of speaking out, I went through a stage of that for a good couple of weeks where I felt, if I made a big mistake, you know, should I just kept my stuff private? Should I have not shared this with people? And... Again, it was, you know, communicating with my wife at home and speaking to her about things that I kind of started finding that, no, I'm, I've not done anything wrong. I, I haven't put any of this out with any intentions to hurt anybody. If anything, I've only put it out there to do positive. And that's why I'm back in the chair in front of the, the red background that sits behind me on most things. I'm working on trying to find a new background and do some different stuff. But for the time being, this is this is my spot. Um, and this is what I'm going to be doing moving forward, but only really once a month, I'm thinking of posting a, a video journal on the challenges that I face um, on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis when it comes to my own mental health and an ongoing ongoing challenge with it. Um, I hope 
that it can um, people can you know relate to it, whether it be in you know they're going through different problems, financial, they've lost a loved one, um, you know they've lost a job, business is really difficult, it's, it's difficult to stay afloat, um, they're having bad relationship problems. All of these things can be a major major influence on your mental health. Suicide is you know something that I think people need to start understanding more about as well. You know, people only really get to suicidal points when they're alone, they're suffering, and they just don't know where else to turn to. Um, and I think there needs to be help professionally. Um, but us all as human beings, as people, need to take it upon ourselves to have that care. Um, and just one big message I want to put out to before I end. When people are trying to do good, I think we should get behind them. I think you should enjoy people's success. This is something I'm, I'm, I'm massive about. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan just now of listening to a couple of other podcasts. Um, somebody I listen to quite a bit is a guy called James English. And I think he, he puts out fantastic podcasts, like really inspiring stuff, real life scenarios that I think people must watch and they're able to just feel strong and think they can come back from struggles that they've had um, and relate to the person that they're watching on the podcast and see somebody that's been able to come through it and, be get, and become successful. That is all I'm aiming to do. Uh, I continue to, to learn on my journey with shaky sports journeys. I've got lots of interesting stuff lined up. But in regards to your mental health, do something that you're passionate about and try not to let that go. When I let my passion go, my mental health deteriorates. It takes a bit of a downward, you know, it, it, goes, it, goes, it goes down very, very quickly. And I feel fantastic today. Uh, maybe a, maybe a reason why I'm doing this video, and it's because I had a podcast last night, um, and I put it in and I recorded it with a great guest. I look forward to getting out soon, um, and I felt good, felt brilliant. Came off the podcast, was buzzing, jumping around, all happy, happy, and that was the first time I'd recorded in about a week and a half, two weeks, due to my wife having some exams and and me having to look after my daughter full time, which was a a total different challenge. Now she didn't make me depressed, but by not having my passion. Um, I started to just find I was I was slowly slowly getting a bit down about about things, um, and that's my my key message here in this video. Do something if you know you've got something that makes you happy. I.e., for a lot of people going to the gym, or seeing a certain friend, or going for a walk up a big hill, um, whatever it might be, don't let that go. Don't don't let that go. If anything, try to always plan it into your schedule. I know life's busy, but try to keep hold of that. And if you don't have something. And you feel well. I've got nothing. Um, you know, I don't really have anything passionate that I do. Then, then, then start searching for something. Start looking for something. Try different things out. Something will work for you. Uh, but I know that just sitting and your own thoughts and thinking deep about these things over and over again does more worse than it does good. And again, clear message: speak to people. Don't be ashamed to speak to people. We all have challenges. We've all faced our own struggles. We have all had good times and bad times. Do not be ashamed to speak out about your challenges. Um, and hopefully my, my video journals that are going to be coming out maybe once a month. This is the first one. Just to let you know what I'm doing and, and just let you understand a little bit more about my thoughts and what have been happening in my life. Um, please, uh, you know, feel free to, to comment and to share your thoughts and your stories as well. Uh, that's what it's all about. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care.